All right, here's the latest look at what we have going on here across the northern plains. This storm system is dynamic and things happen that our forecast models don't anticipate. And I can tell you this, as we take a look at the big picture, the heavier bands of snow now uh, shrouding northern Minnesota, wrapping through the northern Red River Valley and then straight back down to Sioux Falls with a little break in the action right now on the I-94 corridor in Minnesota. The I-29 corridor is still on the edge of some heavy snow right now. But here's where the heaviest is. Now, from the midday hour until about 5 o'clock, Fargo-Moorhead picked up anywhere between 4 and 6 inches of snow and counting because it's still flaky out there right now. But here's where the action is. An inch per hour rates, maybe even a little bit more where you see these uh, salt and uh, white specks on the radar here. Those are some ginormous flakes that are really returning a lot of intense signals back to the radar there in Mayville. So, uh, Steel County, Trail County, Grand Forks and Grand Forks County right Right into Western Polk right now is where the action is and it extends northward into Marshall County, Minnesota. That's where the heaviest accumulations are and it's been there for well over a couple of hours. So your snow totals are going to be up a little bit over what we were anticipating yesterday as the snowfall does continue from Mayville through Crookston down into northern parts of Cass County right now. That's where this system is very bad. Thompson and all the way out towards Northwood, these bands just keep kind of passing through with periods of very heavy snow. The wind isn't as strong up north. We don't have sustained winds of 35, but still some very treacherous conditions. Now, as we take a look at the big picture one more time, here is an area of heavy snowfall, and here's where it is right now. Here are some snowfall totals that are, I've plotted across the region up to this point, and basically we have 25 inches near Aberdeen, 14 inches near the uh, uh, west central portions of Minnesota and Ortonville, 11 in Havana, and 6 for the Fargo-Moorhead area. This whole blob slowly going to creep this way. And this dry slot is going to cut off some of the snow potential in parts of southwest Minnesota. Not a bad thing for you right now. We have 27 degrees. Winds are at 30 miles per hour, gusting to nearly 40 miles per hour in Fargo, making it feel a lot unspring like the warmest temperatures near the international border where the snow is not and the wind speeds are strongest through the southern James River Valley in towards Aberdeen where we have gusts to 40 but we're near that in the FM area and as this storm continues to progress it's going to carry those conditions to the east visibility is ridiculous out there you cannot see more than a quarter of a mile in numerous locations as I mentioned, no forecast model has done a good job with the dry slot. This one, for instance, has it way down here. That's out to lunch. But let's show you the progression of the heavy snow potential, which is pretty good up here, wrapping through the valley as we set it into motion tonight. This band keeps shifting northward, but this band keeps shifting eastward. As we go through the overnight hours, we'll still have accumulating snow, just not at the rate that we've had from this evening, from midday through this evening. Now, as we start our morning, that's where the snow will be. It will continue to exit out to the east. So if you're traveling to the Twin Cities or into central Minnesota, don't. Not a good idea to travel. The wind will still be problematic throughout the day. Showers of snow that will continue to accumulate. And here's Hutch's latest. If you're in that dry slot area, two to six inches, including the Fargo area, of additional snow on top of the banks you have now, here's where that heavy action has shifted. Northern Minnesota, Grand Forks to Fargo, Mayville, and out towards the part portions of central Nelson County. Six to 12 inches of additional snow likely for you. Fargo, cloudy, periods of snow showers tomorrow. Wind north, 15 to 30 miles per hour. Unfun, unpleasant, and temperatures everywhere in the low 30s, so a freezing day. It does get better. Here's a shot from Dilworth. This is certainly winter-like. I wonder how many shopping days there are till Christmas. Here is a look at your forecast then as we plan out the next weekend. Temperatures rebounding a little bit as we melt some of these new snow banks around the valley and we get to some milder conditions. Not high 50s, but we'll have a chance to kiss 50 <laughs> degrees don't, again. Don't be getting too smart about this yeah. now. Not yet. It's Not serious. Next week. Yeah. But yeah. there's a lot of folks that are like, what's going on with our seasons here? I know, yeah. right? Yeah, yes. we're all asking that. This isn't unprecedented. Thank you. Yes.